All right, getting closer to the end. It's been a quick project, wasn't it? Oh, this is just a tube with pretty interesting design on it. So now we got to the part of short rows. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about short rows and my dilemma with them. In the original sample, uh, this one that I uh, have finished, I used the double stitch short rows or sometimes they call them German short rows. But I did a little bit of fudging just to see what it looks like. And I moved the uh, stitch, underarm stitch, uh, I don't remember one way or the other. So the short rows end all on the um, pearl rows. And it looks really good. As you can see on the pearl rows, you can hardly see it, especially after it's been washed and blocked. It works perfectly. But in the instructions, I, it is impossible to uh, do the uh, underarm stitch markers evenly without uh, uh, falling, uh, by always falling on the rich stitches. If you're an experienced knitter and you would like to do that, you can always uh, move the stitch marker, one stitch over uh, one way or the other, and it's gonna work just fine. But if you wanna follow the directions exactly the way they are, um, I figured that uh, my trusted wrap and turn short rows work the best. Cotton yarn shows imperfections. It has wonderful stitch definitions, but if the stitch is not laying properly, you're going to see it. And even though the um, short rows begin and end under the uh, arms, and they're really most of the time going to be covered with the arms, I still prefer to have it uh, as neat and, uh, and uh, uh, nice as possible. So I wanted to show you that I worked already uh, most of the short rows on this uh, sample that we are knitting together. And uh, here the stitch marker, one stitch after the stitch marker, uh, falls on the knit stitches and the only way to do them nice and neat was to do the wrap and turn method after this is blocked you will not be able to see any difference here except that you see that this part is going to be raised and here is the other side uh, with the wrap and turns uh, on uh, where it falls on the pearl stitch and it also looks very good and neat. Never mind these stitches that are poking out. Uh, after the um, yarn is blocked, it's gonna uh, even out. Here on the uh, wrong side, you can see these uh, wrap stitches that are slipped off the needle. And here is on the knit stitch. You can't see anything here at all. So if you've never done short rows, or you don't have a um, preference for short rows yet, here I'm going to be showing you uh, how I do wrap and turns on this particular um, sample to, uh, so you can have the same neat uh, short rows as I have it here. So let's get into it. Short rows raise the front of the tank top by a few rows, uh, so it's higher than the back and it fits better. They uh, start and end under the arms. Each size has its own measurements and its own uh, uh, calculations for the perfect fit lengthwise and uh, for the flowers to fit in. So by the time you are done with short rows, if you did everything properly, you're going to be done with the last flower. And in some sizes, you may have extra rows um, on top of the flower for extra added length. As you might have seen in the pattern by now, there are five steps to knit each short row section, where you're going first to set up the markers, and then you're going to work the short row from uh, to the second marker, then you're going to work back to the first marker, wrap and turn, 
walk back one round, then work another round to pick up this uh, wrap, and you start your five steps again. For the size I am knitting, I need to work from the uh, beginning of the round from our turtle, uh, 33 stitches to place the first marker. And then I'm gonna continue in a uh, pattern, uh, another 68 stitches and place marker two. And I'm gonna meet you there to see what we're doing there. All right. I had to stop uh, in this part just to show you. Uh, only in the first setup uh, short row uh, round, you are going to need uh, to count the stitches because after that, you're going to work just to the marker and wrap and uh, work back. But depending on what part uh, of the flower you are when you are doing the setup row, you may end up on the flower part when you have these three extra stitches. So you need to make sure that you count these three stitches as one stitch. So if I have between the markers here, actually ended up with this part when I was setting up the uh, flower. If I have uh, 68 stitches uh, between the markers, together with this flower stitches, it's going to be 70 stitches. Or to say it simpler, the flower panel has to always uh, be counted as 11 stitches. Even though in some points, it's going to have 13 stitches and then going back to 11 again. So here we are. We knit it to the second marker. We either place the marker if you work in the first round or just slip in the marker. And we're going to wrap the next stitch. So I'm going to slip this stitch off the needle. Here I have a purl stitch. I'm gonna put the yarn in front of it and I'm going to put it back on the left needle. Let me show it to you again. So I'm going to wrap this purl stitch with this yarn without knitting it or purling it. So I'm going to slip it on the right needle without knitting it. I'm going to let that yarn in front of the stitch and I'm going to put the stitch back on the left needle. Now I'm going to turn the work I'm going to do the wrap uh, in front of the needle. I'm going to slip this stitch and here next stitch is purl stitch. So I'm going to purl. Don't make it too tight, but don't make it too loose. It's kind of a balance game, but um, the yarn stretches. You don't want holes. The whole point of this wrap is not to have holes uh, in your work. We are going to work uh, this row. You see, we're going to be working on the wrong side. It's a row now, not a round, when we knit in the round. <clears throat> and we're gonna be working in pattern. Uh, working in pattern means that um, working stitches as they present. Like right now I have here purl stitch in front of me. So I'm going to purl it. Next stitch is also purl and this is a knit stitch. It's presenting as a knit stitch. I'm going to knit. Purl, purl, knit. They are the reverse side of these columns of knit stitches and one purl. So here we have one knit and three purls. The reverse of it. And you're going to do the same thing when you work through uh, the flower panel. Just Knitting and purling stitches as they present. There's going to be knit over here, purl over here. And you're going to work this round all the way to marker one. And I'm going to see you there. Here I am at marker one. Now we're going to have to wrap the next stitch. The way I do it, I'm going to put the yarn in, in front of the needle. No, I'm sorry. It's the back of the needle. I'm going to slip this stitch of the uh, needle just like we did before put the yarn in front and put it back so the yarn is going to be in front of the stitch from the front so it's easier to slip it all after that wrap i want to do it again so 
So the yarn goes in front, uh, in the back of the needle. Now we slip this stitch to the right hand without knitting it, put the yarn around it and put it back on the needle, on the left hand needle. We don't knit that stitch. Now we turn the work. Do you see this wrap here? The stitch is wrapped. Now make it too tight there because it's going to be hard to slip it uh, off uh, the um, needle after. And continue working in pattern. This round you're going to be working all the way around to the end of the round. And once you get to this um, marker two, I'm going to show you how we slip off that wrap. So here we are at marker two, at the round where we need to uh, pick up the wrap from of the stitch. So we slip the marker, and now this next pearl stitch is the one that is wrapped. Here is how we do it. This wrap, we need to pick it up and put it on the needle. It's splitting the yarn, I'm sorry, it got tangled a little bit. But here is what I do an extra step here. Normally you would just purl it together, but because it's a cotton yarn and it shows uh, the stitches um, very clearly, I want to push this stitch that is uh, the actual stitch, not the wrap, to the front. So I grab onto it and I pushed it to the front and the wrap stays behind. They're both on the needle right now. And now I'm going to purl it as one stitch, you see? pushing the yarn, uh, needle from the back, and I'm going to purl it, two of them together. And now I'm gonna continue to the end of the round. It looks a little bit wonky now, but once uh, the top is uh, washed and blocked, it's gonna completely even out here and it's gonna look beautiful. Next step, we're gonna have to pick up the wrap by marker one. For that, we're gonna have to uh, work past the beginning of the round. And I'm gonna see you on at marker two. At marker one, I'm sorry. So now we are at one stitch before marker one, which is the wrapped stitch. What we need to do is to pick up this wrap, put it on the needle, and then we're going to turn this stitch around because right now it's twisted so we can knit these two stitches together so the stitches will lay exactly the way they are laying as the other stitches and you won't see this wrap at all in the front side so here is how we do it I'm going to pick up this stitch wrap i mean and put it on the needle now we want to push out to the front the actual stitch carefully it looks a little bit stretched out it also looks twisted if you see if i knit it like this it's going to be a twist here but the other stitches are not twisted so what i'm going to do here i'm going to take it off the needle and put it back and i turned it around and now all i have to do is just knit the stitch together with the wrap at the same time so now the wrap is behind, the stitch is not twisted, and it's going to look beautiful once it's blocked. Slip the marker and finish the round.